Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Dunwall sure is pretty at sunset. Have you ever noticed that? I feel like I've said that before. Anyway, we have the very exciting job of going to deal with Sokolov. Uh, no rest for the wicked, so let's do some leans, because my fingers are bad at games. Off to Caldwin's Bridge, sir. We'll get our sleep later. No rest for the wicked. We just climb aboard when you're ready. Ah. We just brought Emily back from the Golden Cat, and we literally like just arrived, and now we're off again to Caldwin's Bridge to go get the royal physician. You've been asked to abduct Anton Sokolov, the royal physician and head of the Ac Academy of Natural Philosophy. Your new allies want to obtain from Sokolov the name of the Lord Regent's mistress, a mysterious ally and one of the most one of his most powerful noble supporters. Sokolov lives in a large apartment somewhere atop Caldwin's Bridge. We don't know where? That seems <laughs> okay. What do you think, Corvo? Caldwin's Bridge been in the city for years, but you lived in Dunwall Tower with the late Empress, so maybe you haven't visited the bridge before tonight. Uh -huh. Something to look out for. See all them lights on the water? That's right. We'll be spotted for sure. You're gonna have to shut off their power before I can pick you up. Oh, okay. Now, about bringing Sokolov back alive, he's smart. Maybe even smarter than Piero. Got the whole of Dunwall under his thumb with all that natural philosophy <laughs> business. New technology, potions, and the like seems dangerous to me. <laughs> but what do I know? Oh, Sam. Here we are. I'll meet you at the arches under Sokolov's place when you're ready, Corvo. Assuming, of course, you've taken care of those floodlights. I love suspicious Samuel Beechworth. Also, man, look at that ugly mug. Um, eh, abduct Sokolov. That's it? No? Nothing? Okay. I have three runes? Why did I get three runes? Did I always have three runes? <laughs> I feel like I should upgrade something. Let's... Let's do this. Let's move faster. Why not? And speaking of... We should do this. There's a bone charm and a room. This smell bones is in the pylons. Blood beneath, beneath the stone, stone locks. Men die building the structure. Okay, to be fair, not to be morbid, but men die building most things. Many seek for the bridge for solace. Ruined men, abandoned women, and plague victims have all left from here. Oof. That's a big oof. The crushed minerals, the farm animals. The vials of liquid mysteries. All these and more are necessary for his experiments. Oh, I think I remember this place. Let's see. Got anything of value over here? There's a chain. I hear people. Okay, well, I didn't mean to... Hello? There we go. Huh? What are we talking about? Who's getting beat? Gonna see if we can't just... Citizens and visitors to our city. Avoid all of this. The curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Mm. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Hey, I heard you got eaten alive at cards. <laughs> Where are we going? Like... Seriously, where? 
Where are we going? Am I am I going over? Am I going over here? <coughs> like, I mean, I know I'm going this way. I think there's a door over there. I don't want to be wrong, though. I don't think I can get on top of this. I know there are some roofs that I can get on top of, but I don't think this is one of them. I'm gonna try and go over there. I'm worried about that guy. Let me know if you want to take my patrol. Shut up. The boldest measures are the safest. <laughs> nice. Should I have looked through the keyhole? Yes. Oh well. Don't worry about it. Wow, I cannot get my fingers off of the lean. I don't know what is wrong with me. Uh, but I do apologize. Uh, it's just as disorienting for me as it is for you. Um, yeah. So, uh, sorry about that. Okay, so... There's people in the next room, so we don't want to go in there. Oh, that's not even a room. Alright, let's see what's up. There's a chain. And... I don't know. Are those whale oil tanks? Oh, what is this? What? What is this? Ooh, stealth boots. Nice. Spiritual remedy that I can't carry. There's whale oil up there. So obviously, I can't do anything about this switch. So I'm guessing I can, like, get in this cart and ride it to be super stealthy. This sounds complicated. We're gonna save. I'll probably save again before I actually do it, but... That's just, uh, you know, always good to save. You guys know by now that I have a bad habit of not saving and then having to do things over again. So, uh, yeah. Let's do what we can. Is there anything over here? No, there's literally no reason for me to be over here. I also don't need to be. Okay, so the whale oil is over there. What is this? Okay, now there's a chain. Please do not tell me I am supposed to jump. Um, because if I remember correctly, these are volatile. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that chain, but, uh, we're not gonna mess with it. I really want to throw this, you guys. I'm not going to. I'll be good. Okay, so the rail is electrified. I said I was going to save again, and I'm going to save again. What did I 
think nobody cares that this is moving. Also, this is kind of an odd time for a curfew. I mean, it's obviously sunset, but it's not dark outside yet. There's a rune in there. Do I care? Like... I feel like we're a little early for the curfew, but that's just me. Before I go in here, I make sure that there's not, Citizens and visitors to our city. you know, a By person. Order of the region, the curfew is now active. Ooh. No foot traffic is allowed across Baldwin's Morning. Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Okay. Of course it can't be easy. Oh god. Please nobody come down here. Nothing's ever easy, is it? There we go. Actually, I don't even think this is... I may have to go down there, actually. Oh, yeah. Is that guy gonna see me? Don't see me. <sighs> that was on me. What the heck am I supposed to do with this? God damn it. No, like genuinely. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Where am I now? Oh. The fish are eating me. Alright, I'm back more or less where I started. Okay. As long as I can get back. Huh? Honestly, this is better. I should have just loaded. <laughs> What's this autosave? I feel like I should have done this from the beginning. As soon as I fell into the water, I should have just reloaded. Alright. Let's get back over there. I don't even know why I'm putting so much effort into this. Like, I've already established that I really don't need the runes anymore. And like... It's not like I've gotten all of the runes, so there's kind of no point to being all completion-y about it. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of the region, the curfew is now active. No there we go. traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. No, come on. Up, up, up. All no Don't overshoot. Oh god, that would have been Caldwin's shitty. <laughs> Like, there's really no reason for me to care so much. I just want to. Alright. Can I get on top of that? I can. And then... Wait a minute. That door's blocked. So, now what do I do? Oh crap, I gotta go in there. Let me get a better look at this. It's just a door. Okay. Where... Where's that bone charm? Okay. Oh yeah. I 
forgot I have possession. This is dumb. Go to Drawbridge Way. This is a whole new area. Curse the plague and this blasted curfew. How is anyone supposed to make a living? Well now, Mr. Pratchett. Even a wealthy man like you needs the city watch. Gangs are cutting throats and smashing wind left and right. And the weepers, excuse me, the plague victims are worse. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll profit. A smart man can come out ahead, even in the time of plague. Sure, like that Sokolov. He's doing fine. Always a lot of exotic items coming and going from his place. Keeps this place running, at least for now. Yes, yes, if by exotic you mean foul-smelling as a witch's bop. The royal physician will be fine too, until he gets his eyes. Uh, I guess we're not gonna listen to the goss. The hot goss. About, uh, the royal physician. Pratchett's key. Oh, you're in the house. What's in here? What is that? Is it just money? If it's something cool, then, you know. We already read this. I won't read it again. He's coming up some stairs. Where is he gonna show up? Where are you? Oh, you're gonna come around this way. I see. Okay. This does not feel like it should hide me. Got his key. No, I wow he's just like really looking right at me no i can't kill him what is it oh crap nighty night sleep tight yeah um you know just uh there you go uh so what's in here Ooh. a sextant yep just money didn't need it well I guess money is kind of nice to have. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't remember this area very well, I guess. I kind of forgot that this was a thing. So I'm really not sure. Um, oh, that's right. There's a rune up here. to be kidding me. Oh, there's so much money in there, though. Wait. This is... having a brainwave. This is the house. This is the house with the paintings, I think. Isle of Morley. Oh, I don't think we've read this. Excerpt from a volume on Morley geography and culture. It's said that the history of Morley is as colorful as a quilt made from all the flags ever flown and all the clothes ever worn. The land itself hides from the sun under a layer of clouds, and a thick gray moss hangs from the trees, but the spirit of the people who live in Morley dances like the firelight. Among the people, the love of good food and drink is legendary, with stews and roasted meat dishes most often used to fight off the cold and dreariness. The nation has a rich tradition of poets, musicians, and philosophers, even among the poorest folk. Intellectual tomes and bar songs alike are often penned in Morley. A late entry into the Empire, the Morley insurrection is still a sore point for many natives, and independence is a proud character trait among the people. Okay. This is a piece of paper. Pratchett's Reminder. Remember that the truth is in the paintings. Yes, this is what I was thinking of. His safe combination is in the paintings. The way to the truth starts in the crowded streets. Continue until you see an anchored whaling ship. From there, find the slaughterhouse and the truth will be revealed to you. So... 
What is this? This is a cool painting. Um, is there more upstairs? There's also like a person up here, isn't there? There was. Ah, okay, so there's a, a way to continue, and there's a, a, a man, I guess. We're gonna deal with this safe first, though. Let's make sure that there's not anybody else. There's unconscious Pratchett. Uh, so, this is the slaughterhouse. Um, and there's a three. Okay, so the last digit is a three. Um, and then what did the rest of it say? Uh, notes? Crowded streets, anchored whaling ship, slaughterhouse. Crowded streets, anchored whaling ship. Ooh, we chugging. Ooh, boy. Alright, so we're on the first floor now. This is also very pretty. Doesn't help me though. Um, ooh, don't mind if I do. Rewire tool that I won't use. Um, Alright, crowded streets. Four. Look at the neck on this guy. <laughs> so, four anchored whaling ship. I don't need to crouch. There's nobody in here. So I can be as loud as I want, stomping around. Anchored whaling ship. That seems concerning. <laughs> I mean, not my house. Not my problem, I guess. I didn't mean to put him next to the gouting steam vent. Is it this? Oh, it is. So, 473. Wow, I really looked at that painting and didn't even notice the art on it. Or the number on it. Look at us, we're so smart. Another rune that I really, again, don't need. Alright. <gasps> Fuck's sake. Oh, and I'm lagging. And I didn't save, and I can't get up on here for some reason, and I'm using all of my mana. Oh my god. I'm a mess. Climb, damn you, Corvo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I'm just one smooth operator. Oh, there's another one? It's like right in here, too. Can I get... Can I get on top of this? Hello? Oh, oh, it was there. Nope. Shh. Not here. Do I have sleep darts? I do have sleep darts. Son of a bitch. Uh, do you have any idea how much of a pain it was to get up there? Alright, crazy motherfucker. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. What the? Damn you. No, I didn't want... Others. 
What's up with you? you? You just dead, okay. There you go, friend. Alright, let's take a look at your crazy. The outsider walks among us. Yes, I, I, I see. I, I hear. The outsider walks among us. Oh. Rivers change course Hello. over many lifetimes, and eventually all bridges tumble down. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like Ooh. you are. He wasn't chosen and he doesn't wear my mark, so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. <laughs> wow, outsider throwing some shade. Let's read some of these crazy notes. Ooh, journal entry part three. Oh wait, it went away. Crap. I want to read it in order. Journal Entry Part 1. Money. Journal Entry Part 1. 19th day, month of seeds. What will I do? She left and took her things. Back to her family as if that will help. The plague will get us all. Third day, month of nets. I've been offered work on one of the whaling boats. I'll be leaving this place at last. Later I will find a place on Tivia to the north. The winters are cold. There. No rats, no plague. 28th day, month of nets. Last day of the month, my fortunes have turned. I found something. Shiny. Shiny and old. Looks like whalebone, which is supposed to be lucky. Alright. Journal part two. Sixteenth, sixth day, month of rain. My cousin Emil is coming soon, bringing a bird to ro roast. I'm gonna see if any of the shops are still open. Maybe I can buy some apples or some potatoes. Tenth day, month of rain. I put my whalebone carving on a shelf, but I could not see it from some parts of the room, so I made a little pedestal for it. It looks nice in the candlelight. Fifteenth day, month of rain. Sometimes I dream about it. In the dreams, it makes sounds like the wind through a broken window. On some nights, the wind sounds like a voice. I was supposed to go to the docks to to ship out, but I remembered too late. It was days ago. And now to journal entry number three. 18th day, month of rain. My cousin came, but we fought over it. When I came into the room, he was holding it. I screamed at him and we fought. Now I'm filled with remorse. 26th day, month of rain. He's still sitting in the corner, across from the candles. He was a thief. Second day, month of wind. I wonder how he knew about it. Coming to dinner was a trick. Maybe he told others. Seventh day, month of wind. Barricades in the hall outside now. Barricades in the halls outside. It's safe now. Eleventh day, month of wind. The watch came, taking people away. The neighbors. Someone in the building has the rat plague. Gone now. It promises to protect me. Each night, it promises. Yeah, so that dude cray, huh? Sorry I knocked you out and stole the only thing that you found valuable. Um, but also not super sorry about that. Um, it definitely wasn't good for your health. My guy. Alright. Up on the rooftop coral is... Alright. 
Where am I going? I'm going over there. Is there other stuff? I don't think so. Got anything? The yeah. air is heavy and stale. Some battery powder is still lingering in it. We can't lose any more minerals mm. on the arc Touch the charger before your ship when the duty officer brings it by, and the arc pylon will fry you. Oh. Those things? Give me the willies, sir. You'll be thankful when Slack Jaw's boys come down the street that slit your river. <laughs> What's a ricker? There was a time when we didn't need these things to keep a gang of kids down. I think since the plague hit, none of them expects to live past 20. So why be scared of anything? Okay, so that will, uh, kill me. That will kill me. And, uh, it really doesn't look like there's much in the way of good ways to approach. Um, is there one on the other side? They're still there. Oh? Eventually, sure. He's the only one who can tell us about the pearls. We'll let him rot in a cell a while longer. We'll be more careful next time. Hmm. Oh, I am remembering something else, too. River crust pearls. So. Huh. So I think if we go the far way around, we'll miss the pylon. But there's also. Oh, here goes Slackjaw's boys. This should be fun. Wow, that's more brutal than I remember it being. Wow. Alright, note to self. Do not mess with Arc Pylon. So, there's this. I don't know. I mean, I think it'll get us past. I think it's got a fairly small range. I didn't kill her! Rude motherfuckers. Oh, there's another one over there. Um, mm, and it's not in a good place to disable it. Although there's another cable over there. I think... Okay. I've, I've been futzing. I think, uh, down and around is the best. Look out! Shit, okay, never mind. Probably should have saved up there. Um, okay, that reaches a lot farther than I thought it did. Yeah, nice. Also, there's a man. No, it's just ridiculous. Please don't come over Stupid here. Stupid rats. Plague. Elixir. Bunch of crap. I could sleep dart him, but I maybe don't need to. I think I don't got a think he's gonna come here. Oh, there's an unknown wanted poster. Is that for Campbell? I think if I can I think if I can do this. Ooh wow. The game does not like the arc pylons. <laughs> Okay, so I could rewire it, but uh, I, I can't, unfortunately, because that's, uh, that's, that kills people. That kills people. Um, do I want to save? I don't want to save. Can I, is that going to land me on the bridge? It's short, right? Maybe not. Look out, you got someone skulking around. I should have saved. Get through the damn door. Okay. Are you teaching him how to play cards?
Okay, so that's disabled the arc pylon. There's a guy up there. Um, I need to get... Fuck. I didn't know you guys were done talking about your card game. to get up if I remember correctly. Not so far. I'm not an idiot. Then you got your gun And above that, I didn't know I had room for that stuff. Okay. So there's this guy who just um just don't turn around. Nobody nobody needs to even think about it. Yeah, just keep- you keep staring at that arc pylon and be really grateful that Corvo Otano took a vow of non-murder. Uh. Cause otherwise, you'd be super dead. Whoop. There we go. Okay. This level is starting to come back to me. If I'm being honest. I don't like the chain climbing mechanics. Alright. So, I need a way to get over, which means I'm gonna have to keep going up. Hopefully in such a way that I will not interact with people. We got anything good here? We got some chains. Cool, cool, cool. There's a lot of, um, a lot of creaking. A lot of seagulls. Alright. Alright. This is something. We can work with this. Nope, keep going up. Oh. Hello? Who are you, and what are you doing all the way up here? Don't you know it's dangerous up here? Unless you're, you know, uh, the main character. I have plot armor, and uh, an infinite number of respawns. Ew. This is quite a view. Quite a view, indeed. But also, listen to that wind. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear it. This is probably very dangerous. It's very windy, apparently. Alrighty. I just want to take a look further down. Yeah, alright, so that is Sokolov's place. Uh, probably that whole brick building is, but that I remember specifically um, is where you find him in that, uh, it's kind of like a greenhouse if I remember correctly but, uh, yeah alright what goes up must come down and hopefully not die in the process could have been more thorough with that. Like, I literally just 
took the tanks off and set them down next to it. Like, uh, you know, it's not hard for somebody to just go put them back. Let's save. I haven't saved in a while. And I'm gonna do something. I wanna try something. That might be stupid. I don't know. I wanna walk on this. I don't know if you can, but I wanna try. I think that there's like stuff you can do down here. Like I think there's a slack job person. A bottle street boy. A bottle street gang boy. Man. Whatever. He'll tell you about river crest pearls. Um I don't care. I wanna do this. Oh my god. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> that was really cool. I don't know if I've ever died in this game before. That was really fun. I wanna try it again. I feel like if I could just skate it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I, it does not like this. Uh, you're not supposed to- Oh my god, I- Guys, we did it. It wasn't happy about it, but we did it. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh my god, I feel so- I'm so pleased with myself. Hey look, it's our wanted poster. Wanted, Corvo Otano. Dead counters. Ooh, look at this. Wanted for the murder of Lord Custis and Morgan Pendleton and for the murder of High Overseer Thaddeus Campbell. Unknown assailant. Enemy of the city of Dunwall. The offenses of this man are high crimes under the laws of the city. Uh, oh. Uh, under the laws of the city watch of Dunwall and the edicts of our brave Lord Regent in these times of peril. The offenses of this man are high crimes under the strictures of the high overseers, the municipal laws of the city watch of Dunwall, and the edicts of our brave lord regent in these times of peril. A uh, reward of 5,000 coins, reward of 10,000 coins. Fun. I'm still so pleased that that worked. You should see a doctor. Hmm. Oh, I think those are river crust pearls over there. Uh, where am I going? Oh, is it not in a separate uh, area like I thought? It may not be. Let me get this out of here. Can I like... perfect. Oh. Alright. Is it a separate area? It is a separate area. That's what I thought. there's anybody here. I have another rune. We didn't get that one bone charm, which is too bad. Um, but oh well. Again, I don't super care about the runes, but we keep getting them, so... You know? It does work multiple times. That's amazing. As long as you're not dead, once you get those two bone charms, you can literally just sit by a sink. Overseer's music note. Yesterday, an overseer passed in the street near me, playing that strange music from the abbey. Beneath his mask, I could not see his face as he turned the crank on his music box, but I could hear his voice muttering verses from the sacred texts. Fear overcame me, because it is forbidden to carry bone charms and similar such items for luck. The overseers are completely unforgiving in this matter. 
Gripping mine in my pocket, feeling its warmth, I walked with my head down. He was heading towards the royal physician's home, that shaggy sofa love, and something odd occurred. I could swear the charm in my hand reacted to the overseer's music, growing cold. Some inner vibration seemed to go still. I found a book that is perhaps related to this and will study it so that I might understand. We've already been over this. The overseers have music that can, uh, that can mitigate, neutralize the outsider's magic. The ancient music excerpt from a longer work. Throughout the natural world, there are ripples that we can barely perceive with our senses. An ancient music permeating everything as a fundamental, structural rule. Through it, you can work wonders without violating the natural world or begging favors from unfriendly spirits. Throughout my studies, I have found a 17-note scale derived from this phenomenon. And with the right equipment, those notes allow for astonishing effects. Not the least of these is the, is the ability to calm the turbulence originating in the void, which we attribute to the outsider. That's very interesting, actually. It's very interesting. Okay. How to get to where we're going. Oh, I'm, I'm starting to remember some of this. It's uh, it, it's becoming familiar. Oh yeah, I remember this too. There's, that's right. And remember, guardsmen, we must make sure they keep turning. It would look very bad on your record. Very bad. There's a wall of light. Okay. So, the wheels. So, hmm. Can I? There's a wall of light blocking a door. So I, I can't really use my dark vision. There's a rewire tool over there. Um, there's. Hi! There's a control room over there. Um, hmm. That seems like rather a pain. What about, uh, what about this? What about going this way? There's a man on a boat. Is that a weeper? Oh, it's a river crest. Ah, uh, those things suck. Um, although you can kill them, I think. I mean, they're not people. I know that's, like, kind of shitty to say, but... I don't think they count against the achievement. Hmm. Gosh, that wall of light sure is, um, thorough. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. I don't want to rewire it. Please don't see me. Uh. Okay, I mean, it's another way to get around, but it doesn't help me doesn't help me with this, with getting over there. Because I don't think I can blink far enough. Like, I think this is all designed very specifically so that it's too far, even for the, the far blink. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Yes, of course. But maybe the other side? I feel like that's asking a bit much. I feel like we're going to have to turn off that. gonna do is get on top of this if we can. Got it. Perfect. Nailed it. Brilliant. Okay. So... If 
There's that's the programming. But where is oh and is that that might be the oil. So I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, in here. Oops, I didn't want that. I wanted to do this. In here, there is a lever, and that lever will stop that wheel from turning. And when that wheel stops turning, we can sneak through it, just like we can sneak through those wheels to get to there to turn off the wall of light. And I'm pretty sure that is what needs to happen in order for us to be successful. So you are going to take a nap, and I'm going to hope, against hope, that uh, nobody comes to investigate. Chances are very good. We're gonna. Oh gosh. And I'm not even crouched. Wow. Okay. You take a moment to breathe. That was a lot of panic. I feel like I sound very zen um, in this episode. I am anything but. Is he gonna see me? No. Okay. Yes, I know that I could have just gone under. Um. I feel like this is going way too well. I feel like I'm getting really lucky. On one hand, it doesn't feel like it's going well at all. I feel like there's a lot of mistakes and a lot of panicking. On the other hand, I feel like I'm getting incredibly, ridiculously, stupidly lucky. Alrighty. Ah. I'm never gonna use that again. Except when I put my fingers in the wrong spot. Alright, we are gonna get up. Because everybody knows that uh, approaching the normal way is boring. Let's see. There's a bone charm. And a rune. Let's see if we can get this bone charm. Dark vision time. I don't know why, but I feel like I remember this last section the best. Dead man, I think. Okay. There's a door we can break through. So I'm guessing I can go in from somewhere else. Let's see. Uh. see what this is. What did that say? Tough skin. Increased max health. When did I get so many bone charm slots? <laughs> I don't- I don't remember that. I guess I might as well put something on. Sure. Let's do tough skin. Why not? Maybe it'll save me from some fall damage. Since that seems to be the primary, uh, way that I get hurt. Alright, so we can get back up onto roofs, or we can go here. Let's see. Oh look, there's that painting of the Lord Regent. Um. Obviously. 
obviously it's because the ones already sick of plague don't live long enough to provide Sokolov with any useful information. It's just a shame. Like that woman the other day. She was easy to look at. Seemed nice enough. Shame she has to die. I mean, it's so horrible, like, too. Now you listen to me. It's not There's just people in jail. They're also, they're talking about uh, Sokolov being a terrible person. Uh, I'm not really paying much attention to them. Yes, we know he's a terrible person. Uh, all in the pursuit of uh, science or whatever. Understand? Right, right. I mean, why worry about a couple of disgusting, smelly pigs, you know? All pigs get slaughtered sooner or later. Better if I wonder about those sounds we heard from the warehouse. Okay. Okay. What about? That's better. You'll go far, face. Over here. I am ghost in night. You do not see me. I don't think I went this way. I think I dealt with them. I don't remember what the point um, of those prisoners is. I feel like you can like maybe release them and it causes a distraction or something. Oh, I do remember this though. Yeah, we're not gonna really worry about side quests, I don't think. Um, how do you get to that chain? I want to balance on that but I, I'm worried that I'm gonna miss it. Like that, see? I, I, that's exactly, that's it. That's exactly what I was worried about. Um, how did you know? Well, because I said it. Um, let's try maybe going up again. Can I, nope, I missed. Okay, we'll just blink. Um, Mm, here we go. I should probably just knock that guy out, right? I haven't used my sleep darts uh, really at all, so you know why not just um, why not just go for it? Because he's walking away. I don't know if these have drop. Um, That was so forceful. I don't think I knocked him out, Griel. I, th I think he did. I think he did. Um, we're going to save again because I don't want to have to do that again. Um, I'm worried that I'm going to miss this jump, even though I don't think it's like a hard jump. I'm just super paranoid. Um, all right. Yeah, so I just need to... I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with Formula 25, my heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential, according to the latest solid alignment. As for test subject, the characteristic sloughing of the skin she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow well, that was easy see I don't always have to kill people oh look he's got a rune Oops. let me get this back lieutenant Niles' port <coughs> As requested, this is a sample of the black market elixir we believe to be coming from one of the abandoned distilleries. No doubt it's inferior to your formula, or even to Pierre's remedy, but people are desperate. We have not been able to identify the additional ingredients. Perhaps you'll have better luck. One thing of note, some of the men of the watch claim, when pressed, to have purchased and used the stuff from time to time, since it's cheaper than either of the popular brands. None of them report any illness or complications, so while it may not protect from the plague as well, it doesn't seem harmful. Lieutenant Christopher Niles, second dispensary, dis second dispensary detail, Dunwall City Watch. Thank you, Lieutenant Niles. Oops, that's a lot of blood. Did I do that? Did 
Did I? Did I do that? Um, I will take that. Um, there's a woman in here. H hello, madam. Who are you? Thank you, whoever you are. He kept me in a cage, like an animal. Pain is horrible right now. So I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. I don't know that you're going to survive, but at least you're out of the cage. That's That's gotta be something. Yeah, nice. Right? Sorry. Um, alright, friendo. Let's get you to Samuel, my good friend. Sam the Boatman. Alrighty. Looks like we're going off this way somewhere. And I did notice that uh, it looks like our friend the guard over here, who we uh, knocked unconscious. Oh, it's just a pistol? That's fine. It doesn't do me any good. Hey, Sokolov, you're not awake, but I bet you would be really jealous if you knew that I could do this. Because um, you want to be able to do that. But you can't, because the outsider says you're not interesting enough. What makes me interesting? I don't know. Maybe it's because I have a license to kill. You know, just while I'm in the area. Oh god. I think I almost just fell down a hole in the floor. Where is Sam? Where? Is he like down under there? Uh, let's see. Can I just... I think that's a terribly visible spot. Oh gosh. It's okay, we didn't get spotted. Sam! Royal physician himself. You made a neat job of it. Drop so casual. Let's go. I probably missed some like optional objectives or whatever, but who cares? Let's see. No hostiles killed, no civilians killed, no alarms rung, no dead or unconscious bodies found. I really only knocked like two or three people unconscious. Chaos is low, didn't kill anyone, and never detected, so we're still on track for shadow. And we robbed Pratchett's safe. There are probably other things we could have done, but I, I don't care. We found all of the runes, that's pretty cool. We didn't find all of the bone charms, we did find the shrine, we didn't find the painting. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. I, I call that a job well done. A successful mission. Interrogation. The royal physician, Anton Sokolov, is now in the custody of the loyalists. Through Sokolov, it will be possible to strike directly at those closest to the Lord Regent. How cooperative will the most brilliant man in the Empire be? He must be swayed or coerced into telling what he knows. Well, here we are. In the Poconos. <laughs> he looks so ridiculous. They set up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles mm. and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the strong <laughs> old dog from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. Alright, Samuel. What is the what did Kurnow say? One chicken and a couple of hours later and suddenly all of Trevor's Boulevard was a bloodbath or whatever. Hey guys. Hey. Well done, Kurnow. Well done. 
I doubt a, a dozen, dozen soldiers would have been spotted. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The royal physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. I guess we have had a bit of a busy time, but there is no way I'm going to bed without saying goodnight to Emily. We gots to check in on Emily. Mission clues have been updated. Sokolov has been captured. He has intimate knowledge of the Lord Regent support network and is sure to be a boon. Powers. I have five runes and nothing to buy. I literally can't buy Shadow Kill. I can't buy... I mean, I could buy Bloodthirsty, but I'm literally never going to use it. Uh, I'm not going to use Wind Blast. I'm not going to use Devouring Swarm, even though it sounds so cool. I don't anticipate myself using Bend Time. I'm not that interested in upgrading Possession. The only other thing is this. I guess I'll do that. I am not going to do anything else though. Alright. Uh, you have fun with him, I guess. Uh, not my problem. Let's go talk to Piero. Uh, we just got a new thing that he can do. Oh, hey, Piero. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. Piero, nothing about you is humble. <laughs> Ooh. Boot stealth. That's exciting. Let's replace the two sleep darts we used. Um, combat sleep darts, pistol upgrades, sword crossing, boot stealth, reduces footstep sounds. Heck to the yes. Boot stealth two. That will be the next thing that we get. Exciting. Okay. Um. What if I just, um, what if I just want to take a shortcut? Hmm? How about that? How, how do we, how are we feeling about that? I gotta check in on Emily. Mm. Yeah, I sure did kill your brothers. And I don't feel that bad about it quite frankly. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Sorry. Poor dear. It's okay, Aww. Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out People there to murder. In the city. Please, please leave a candle for me. I, it gets dark in here and I, I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. Where is Corvo? She still has bad dreams. Though it's understandable given all she's been through. Sometimes she calls out your name. Sometimes she cries for her mother. Poor Emily. That girl's gonna need a lot of therapy. Ooh, money. Oh, look at this cute little drawing she did. I want to know what this says, but I, I don't want to wake her up. <laughs> but I am going to steal her bread. Alright, we'll let her get some sleep. And we'll be responsible adults and go get some sleep ourselves. To Corvo's bed. Let us away. I like that we have a direct path to Emily's room. Was this always here? Probably. I don't- oh! Oh! 
Damn it, I just bought sleep darts. A note from Piero. Corvo, thank you for getting me alive, Weeper. This is going to be invaluable for my old friend at the Academy of Natural Philosophy. As living plague specimens are quite difficult to procure, rest assured my colleagues will handle this situation as humanely as possible. Oh, I guess because we didn't kill the, um, the Weeper, I guess because we, um, we knocked it out because, you know, I'm, I'm not killing anybody. Um, I guess sleeping refills me too. I guess because we knocked out the Weeper though. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, surprise, surprise. Um, I guess that's what this is. Well, I wish I had known. Although I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have bought sleep charts from you if I knew. <laughs> anyway, let's get some sleep. Get some rest while Sokolov is unconscious. And, um, yeah, I think that's gonna do it for us this episode. Oh! Corvo! Wake up! You were making funny Emily. faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here <laughs> in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, Aww. I should always run here. You can stay here whenever you want, or you should head back to your own room. Ugh, Corvo. Corvo has a heart. Emily, you can stay here whenever you want. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes Girl, me Girl, you... The things you've been through... You, you can have the world. You can have anything that makes you feel a little bit less sad. What are you reading? Aw, you laid out like a little blanket and stuff? That's so cute. It's a little dirty. That's the only thing. I, uh, I, I don't mind because I'm not in here very much. But I, I, I hope you don't mind that it's a little dirty. I noticed we have a note. Oh. <laughs> I think uh, I think Emily drew us a little picture, uh, with a with a, a a title, if you will. Oh, look at that. We're smiling. That's so cute. Emily's rendering of Corvo. <laughs> Corvo, this is a drawing I made of you without your scary mask. Aw, look at how happy he looks. I imagine we probably don't look that happy very often. That's so sweet. Aw. Yeah, they don't- I don't think they ever explicitly say it in this game. I feel like it was uh, only sort of hinted at in this game. Um, but I feel like in the second game, they kind of come right out and say it. But regardless of whether it's hinted at or whether it's explicitly said, uh, as this indicates, uh, it is either explicitly stated or highly implied that, uh, Emily is Jessamine and Corvo's daughter, specifically. There's a bit of a resemblance, I don't know. She's got my roguishly good looks, I guess. Um, but that is going to have to do it for us this episode. We are, um, just about out of time. We successfully captured Anton Sokolov, and when we come back, we are going to interrogate him, uh, by the looks of it. And then, with that, uh, information, maybe you might have noticed a, a bit of a sneak peek of what we're going to be doing next, um, on the save there. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna all have to wait for next time. So, until then, bye bye